continue a little bit about that. It's, it's uh, what was it? Uh, you don't know what you don't know. And then those are the things that happens when you're hiring a professional exactly. or when you're hiring someone who can help you through a process, right? Because exactly. a lot of times, Attorneys are also come with their own set of, you know, uh, intimidation. You know, they, they, um, and for some of us are nice. <laughs> it, 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 not it, all attorneys I, are mean. I, I don't think it's a question of being mean or not mean. It's more along the lines of, you know, usually when you have to hire one, is because you have some connotation in the back of your head that something went wrong, right? Right, which is why I really try to kind of push people into this whole mindset of the preventative steps. Like, let's do an internal audit. You, nothing's happening. You haven't been audited yet. You might never be audited, right? But at least you're doing something proactively to protect your business, and then you can be comfortable. That if you do, God forbid, get audited, that your ducks are in a row. That it's not gonna be like something that could potentially shut your business down. I mean, these fines can be intense, right? And like, especially for a small business, you know, where a lot of times working on very tight cash flow, you know, like it's not like there's just tons of money there, you know, a lot of times we're, we're going payroll to payroll, like pinching the quarters, like to make sure that we meet payroll and stuff like that. Like fines like this can, can put a company out of business. So I definitely think that the, the, what is the saying? An ounce of prevention is worth a pound, a pound of cure or whatever the saying is like the prevention is like for sure where it's at with this stuff, because then also you just have peace of mind.